in this video we'll solve this problem. I'm assuming that the company Benjamin Co. is getting, over the course of five years, a money flow from investors. So in total, they're getting $10,000 from distributors that invest it all at a rate of 5%. We're assuming that means compounded continuously. Assume that over the five years, the bank pays them $1,000 of interest. All right, so let's start with total money flow. All right, so remember, total money flow is the money coming in, no interest counted. So total money flow here would be, so the $1,000 is definitely not counted because that's interest. So the only thing that they receive is $10,000. So the total money flow is $10,000, that's it. Next question, we want the future value. Future value, that means how much money they have in T years, so in five years. Well, they still have the $10,000, that's their capital but they also have all the interest that they're gaining. So in total, they have $10,000 plus is I want to know why this isn't um, F V equals to P E R T which would be ten thousand dollars e to the 0 0.05 times 5 and that will be I computed it uh, about twelve thousand dollars so I got 12840.25. So is the bank robbing this company because they only gave them $1,000 in interest while over the course of five years they should have earned $2,800? if you put the $10,000 in an account at a 5% interest rate compounded continuously and just wait for five years. But that's not what we're doing. What the company is getting is a money flow of money. They're getting $10,000, but not all at once, not at the start of the investment. They're getting continuously throughout the five years. So part of this $10,000 they got after four years. So they didn't invest the entire $10,000 for the entire five years. So on some of this money, the money they got after four years, let's say, they only have one year of interest to include instead of the five years. So some of the $10,000 came um, much later. And so didn't spend all five years in the investment. So if 
the entire $10,000 showed up at time zero, then that would be the amount you'd have in the account. But we're told that we only get $1,000, so that means the $10,000 didn't come all at once, it came, or at least it didn't come at time zero all at once. All right, final question. What is the present value? value of this investment. Right, so that means how much is this worth today? How much would I need to put into a bank account for all five years at this interest rate of 5% to get the same amount, uh, sorry, this amount here. So the future value would be equal to what I would get if I took the present value and invested it for five years at PV E 0.05. Let's leave it like that. I'll solve for PV here. Uh, this is not what I want. So that means PV is LV e to the minus RT. And so that was 11,000 e to the minus 0 0.05 times 5. I can erase this. And I computed it. I can't find it. Let me compute it. And so I got. So we said 1,100,000, sorry, um, times e to the minus 0 0.05 times 5. So I get 8,566.81 dollars. So if at times zero, I put $8,566.81 in the bank account, in a bank account with interest of 5%. At the end of my five years, I would end up with exactly the same amount, $11,000, as the company did.